Hey, what's up guys? Today I was I wanted to do a review on uh, my tunnel cover that I got from my truck. And the tunnel cover that I got is, is made by Undercover. It's the Armor Flex and the model is the AX32004. So it's right there. 32004. Model is AX32004. All right? So I wanted to do a review because when I was looking for the info, I didn't find too much info and I thought, hey, you know what? This would be a really good thing to uh, do a review on. So let's hit it. All right, so this is this is the cover and it's on a Dodge 2019. It's a Ram 1500. It's the Warlock. That's what it looks like. And this is what it looks like on the truck check it out so one of the things that I like about the cover is the design the material and the quality that you're getting from armor flex boom so I've had it for about three months now going on four months right and one of the things that I like is that it does sit kind of flush onto the truck. Now it looks like it's raised up a little bit, but believe me, it's not raised as much as other tunnel kind of other uh, covers out there. Okay. Now this model specifically is a trifold, so it folds three times. It'll go from here to here and then to here and then if you want to raise it up even higher it stops right here and then you can uh, pretty much stand it up right there so i'll show you guys in a little bit okay so the materials that this is made out of is aircraft grade aluminum so it's really good um it's very strong and very sturdy so see that very strong so i actually put some weight on it because i wanted to test it out to see how much weight would it support and how much weight would it hold and believe it or not i actually put two dumbbells on here each one was 35 pounds so it holds 70 pounds and i'm gonna add a picture on there so you guys can see and check it out okay Now this is what it looks like with the truck bed down, the cover up on top, and this is the bottom. So I got my tunnel cover from, I live in California, and I got it from Four Wheel Parts. Four Wheel Parts, boom. So the price that I got it was $1,029. That was the price. I don't know if there might be a special or not, but when I got it, it had a lot of, uh, specs and it had a lot of reviews and stuff like that um one of the things that i really the reason why i got it for guys is the security there's a lot of tunnel covers out there some of them are soft but the thing is with the soft cover yeah you're hiding whatever you have in there and people won't be able to see it and it does provide some sort of security because if any if they can't see what's in there they're not going to try to get it right however you have bad guys out there. They'll just stick a knife in there, rip it open, and just to look and see if you have some valuables in there. And that's something that I really didn't want to happen, to waste all that money in a nice cover and then for someone to come and rip it open. So I decided, you know what? Let's pay the extra money and let's get something really strong and sturdy. Aircraft grade aluminum, guys. This is really good stuff, all right? So on the outside, on the top, you have that rhino lining. So it's a rough texture really good it's scratch resistant and it's really strong as a matter of fact it kind of matches the lining on the inside of the truck on the back so the way you open this cover up is pretty much it has two spots where you can open it from and it's right here in the back it's either this side you pull on this and it has these latches right here so as soon as you pull on it, it's going to retract the latch right here. But you're also retracting the latch on the other side. Or you could do it from this side. It doesn't matter. Either or is the same thing. 
See that? That's retracts and then you pull on it. All right. So you can pretty much just pull and close and open, sorry. And so that one is your first one your first trifold and then you're gonna do the same thing with the second one you have a latch right here right you pull on it and you open it up now you're gonna think oh is it heavy is it light you know what it's not too heavy um, but it's also not too light and the reason for that is because you have to pick this up and you're going up and over so if it's for example, if it was my wife, my wife would not be able to pick that up. She would have to probably get in on the truck, on the truck bed, and then flip it over. My 11-year-old son, I don't know if he would be able to do it or not, but, uh, you know. Same thing with the third one. Now, you can leave it like this, in this position. If you're, for example, going to a store and picking up some items that are pretty big, but you don't need it open all the way, you can leave it like that. You close your tail bed and you come on this side and it's got some latches so you unhook this and then you hook it up to this side right here huh, it's kind of tight let's take that out a little and then you pull back on it and it does this on this side and on the other side so that way when you're going on the highway the freeway or on the streets that cover is not going to flip back on you so it has them both both sides kind of hard to do with one hand but there we go so that's what it would look like when you're riding on the highway if you wanted it to be like that. If not, you can always, now, when you take these off, you can always put them back in here so that way they're not hanging on the inside of the truck. If not, guys, you can always leave them like that and then just raise the third one up. So we're gonna pull on the latch, right? And then pick it up. So this is where it gets heavy. I'll put the camera down for a minute. And then what you would do is you have these little rods here on the side. Let me zoom in right there. One rod on that side, one rod on this side. And then what you would do is you would hook these rods up to your little ball right here and it would hold it in place so that way you can travel with this and this would actually be standing up kind of like this so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and, and show you real quick but at the same time as you as you have those rods you would also tie this one down right there so that way it stays in place so you would have safety in the front right here and you would have it in the back right now, the underside of the cover is also kind of like the same material on the top. However, this is a lot glossier. And I was thinking, why would they make this side glossy and not um, like a matte black finish? And the reason for that is, well, my reasoning is, if you have tail lights, guys, some of the trucks now come with LED tail lights in the back right there, right? So if you have these uh, lights in the back, what's gonna happen is, it lights up and that gloss actually performs as a reflector so that way it reflects light throughout the whole bed of the truck now one of the reasons why i ordered this one specifically is because there was actually a mistake on the website one of the mistakes was that it said it comes with the light so the light is right there the truck hero light so this cover itself does not come with the light it's sold separately however that was one of the reasons why i bought it so when i didn't get the light i was kind of upset i wrote to truck hero and i i mean to uh the manufacturer and i told them hey you know what guys this is one of the main reasons why i got the light i'm really sorry i kind of wanted it i was wondering how do i go about getting it and i showed them the website and you know what without hesitation they sent me a light for free now that's really cool and i kind of like that because it shows that hey you know what they actually pay attention to the customers and what their needs are so 
you're not going to get this light, but if you guys want a light, you guys can always get it aftermarket and buy it. And it's supported by the rail system that's mounted that supports the cover itself. So it's on the rail system, but it uses um, some AA batteries, I believe. And it's got a little switch right here for on, and then you push it and it starts to dim itself and then it turns off. Now, to unfold the cover, you just pretty much come and you just drop it. One. Two, you hear that? That's sturdiness, guys. Three. Okay, now I'm gonna tell you guys something. One of the main reasons why I got it, security, right? You don't want someone breaking into here. So I thought like, man, you know what? Someone can easily break into this thing still. If they know how this system operates, how it works, they can probably stick something in here. Here's your bed cover. I thought somebody can come and stick like a, a, a hanger of some sort through here and then kind of like get that little loop and pull it and voila they're gonna open this but no they're not i'm gonna tell you why guys check this out you see how it closes right here here's your tail truck bed tailgate right there here's your cover and right underneath the cover there's a little lip right here right and then there's a little wall right here so if someone tries to stick something in there it's gonna hit this because this is making contact with the end of your truck right here check it out So there's absolutely no way that someone's gonna stick something in here and try to pull on this and try to open your truck. It, it's not happening, guys. I tried it myself, it, it didn't work. So that's one of the main reasons that I, I kind of like this. And one of the things that I like about it is they actually thought about, you know what, let's provide a little bit of safety in the back, make sure no one breaks into this, all right? So not only are they not gonna stab it open, but they cannot open it unless you leave your truck bed open and they managed to open it themselves like that so i wanted to show you some pictures of how it held the weight now the only thing is that it is when i had the truck bed closed i was able to put the, the weights on here and it's not a problem this thing is sturdy um i probably wouldn't tell you hey you can have your kids jump on top of it because it, it would probably collapse i'm not sure if that would happen or not i'm not gonna try it i don't suggest you try it but i did put 70 pounds of weight on here because i sometimes you want to get in your truck and you have groceries or you have bags and you want to be able to hey you know what i i my hands aren't free i gotta dig in my pocket for my keys so you want to be able to put your stuff on top of the bed cover right on top of the tonneau cover so i put some weight on there i'm gonna show you guys the pictures real quick okay All right, so you obviously saw the picture with the weight on there. And the thing is, I'm gonna tell you right now, when I put the weights on here and the tailgate was closed, it wasn't a problem. And when I put the 35 pounds, just the 35 pounds on here with the tailgate open, did it support it? Yes, it supported it. Did the 70 pounds support it? Yes, the 70 pounds supported this right here supported 70 pounds of weight without a problem. The only thing is at that amount of weight, your material starts to bow in a little bit because you got a lot of weight. 70 pounds is actually a lot of weight. So it does start to bow in a little bit. What does that mean? It means that when you try to close your tailgate right here, your tailgate doesn't close. Why does it not close? Because now your material here, your tunnel cover is bowing inward and it's making contact with the with your tailgate so that's why it doesn't close however if you remove the weight you can close it up without a problem it's not a biggie so let me show you what it looks like with the lights see that lights inside it's starting to get dark outside so I have those lights and that's what it looks like guys so it does start to you can see the the loops right there hanging that's where you pull so that way you can um, fold the cover itself. Now at the end over there, on the left side and on the right side, 
you have a couple of anchors that go to the side of the bed right there. So it's supported by two beams, one on each side, and then you got brackets. Bracket, these brackets tie onto the bottom and it's really easy to install. There's videos out there that show you how to install it. And you also got these little hoses. Uh, let me see if I can show you, it's too dark. Well, you got these hoses that allow the water to drain out. Now you're thinking like, oh, is it really waterproof? Yes, it's waterproof, guys. I actually went to the car wash. I washed the truck. I had it washed and I opened it up just to check it out. And the bed of the truck was dry. So now I'm going to show you guys something else, okay? One of the things that I really like about it is the amount of space that you actually have on here. Because you would think like, so I know some of these tunnel covers will actually go lower and some of them are a little bit higher, but I'm going to show you something, all right? Guys, so what I wanted to show you is the clearance. How much clearance do you actually get? So measuring from on the corners right here, because that's where your latches are on the left side and the right side. You have about sorry about that. You have about 18 and three quarter inches of clearance. 18 and three quarter inches clearance. However, in the middle, you have a little bit more. Now you have ah, oh, it's kind of hard to do with one hand. You have almost about 19 and a half inches. So I actually have a cart here that I use to move stuff around. And this cart measures almost 17 inches. Actually, it measures more. I'll tell you why. So I have this cart, it's right here. So it was left in the sun, so it started bowing in because it had some really heavy stuff. So in the middle, because of the weight, and it ended up bowing, it measures around 17, almost 17 inches. However, on the corners, right there, it's measuring almost 17 and three quarter inches, about that. But check it out, I wanna show you guys. It goes in without any problem. Sorry, I'm trying to fix the camera here so I can show you guys. So check this out guys, I'm gonna show you. See this? So this is the car, it's a U-Haul or U-Line car. And it goes in without a problem. See that? And you close it up and boom, nobody knows you got something in there. Open it up. If it's dark, you turn your lights on. And if you want to turn this one on, you can turn that one on, and it lights it up even more. So you can see what's going on on the inside. And this is what I'm talking about, how it's reflective and it allows more light to get spread out evenly. So this is what it looks like on the inside with the lights. Now you can see it's starting, starting to get a little bit dark. The sun's starting to go down, but it looks good in there. You're able to see anything and everything. So that's pretty much it guys. So real quick, I wanna show you what it looks like when you have it all set up and the wall is sticking up so that way you could drive on the highway. I'm gonna show that to you right now. All right guys, so this is what it's gonna look like if you actually fasten it up and you have it, the wall standing so that you can fit something big in there or something tall. It does give you the space that you need. However, it steals away a few inches here in the front because this is where you have your mounting vices or grips down there. See those corners right there? So you have those, one on each side, right? That's what's holding this thing together pretty much. So it's stealing away maybe four to five inches. As a matter of fact, you know what? I got the measuring tape. Let's measure it. So it stills away about seven to eight inches, guys. All right? However, you can stand something up here and say you're moving the refrigerator 
you back up your refrigerator onto the wall and it's steady and sturdy and strong okay the only downfall is if you're driving down the highway like this you're not going to be able to use your rear view mirror on the inside you will still be able to use your side mirrors but on the inside you won't be able to use anything why because it's all black right there because you got that wall facing you right there so that's what it's gonna look like okay guys the, the bed when it's all the way up or the tunnel cover when it's all the way up I have however used it a few times in this position and I'll be driving on the highway doing 70 75 and I have no issues at all so I have never used it in this position and I don't think you can because it doesn't have any latches for you to actually support this or to tie it down to. So you might be driving down the highway and, and your wind, a gust of wind might hit it and whoa! And that's not what you want, right? So never had it like that either. Like this, I drive like this most of the time. Um, Sometimes you might hear people say, oh, it helps you with your gas mileage, it increases your... No, that's not true. It hasn't really increased my gas mileage. It stays the same. It weighs about 40 pounds, the whole cover itself, I believe. Somewhere around 40 pounds, or a little bit more, a little bit less. I have to check to make sure. Um, it hasn't decreased the gas and it hasn't really increased the gas. So that's it, guys. All right, another thing guys is, I just wanted to show you how thick this is. All right, so here is the side of the truck, all right? You got the liner that comes manufacturer from the manufacturer on the truck. And then I thought, what can I do to show people how thick this thing is, all right? So I put some coins on here. I got six quarters. Actually, you know what, let's do five. So I got five quarters on there, right? So that five quarters, is just your seal right here. After the seal covers here and it goes over, it actually drops down. You see how it drops down? So you got your five quarters here. It's your seal. It starts to raise up a little and then it flattens out right here. And then it comes right back down. So <clears throat> as far as the height flies, it's probably about the same height here than it is here on the top, on the pinnacle right here on the top. Right, because this kind of does go at an angle. So it's probably, the seal is what, uh, is the thickest part. And that is about five quarters. One, two, three, four, five quarters in height. Okay, now I wanna make sure you guys understand, I'm not being paid by anyone. I don't get paid by undercover. I don't get paid by Armor Flex or anyone to do this video or this review. These are just my opinions and what I have seen with the tunnel cover that I purchased myself with my own money. So no one's giving me anything, guys, just to let you guys know, okay? Because you might say, oh, you know what? You're being paid. No, I'm not, okay? All right, another thing is um, you're going to ask yourself, how thick is the cover itself? It's a little bit over half an inch thick. So that's half an inch of aluminum on the top, half an inch of aluminum in the bottom. No, it's just half an inch total. So that's pretty much it guys. So that's the tunnel cover made by Armor Flex. And if you guys have any questions, hit me up. I'll answer them if I can. Um, let me know what you guys think. All right, have a good one. Take care, be safe.